Planet Earth, home to the planet full of shitheads and the species that are equivalent to stage 4 cancer. I wasn't going to make a video about this because I already saw other people make a video about this. So I was like, nope, what's the point? It's like copying other people's ideas. But then I saw that she finally got arrested. I was like, hmm, maybe I will make a video about this now. Then I saw other people make this again and that she got arrested. But you know what, whatever. I'm, I'll make it anyway. This might be delayed, maybe like till Monday or Tuesday. But anyway, it's me here again. And this girl finally got caught up by the ops for assaulting an Uber driver. If y'all haven't seen it already, you already seen it last week. But wait a minute. That's not the girl. What the hell? Like I said, I wasn't going to make a video about this because people already made a video about this. But Jesus Christ. She finally got arrested. But to start off is the incident itself. I guess she got mad because she was told to put on a mask on, like every freaking Karen ever. Then the Uber driver even politely to go to the gas station so she could get a mask. But she assumed, like every other Bratz doll, she was getting kicked out of the car. She took it the wrong way. And that's where it all went downhill from there. The girl? No, 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 no. Not that girl. The Middle Eastern chick. She's the main star of this, alright? Although all of them started to get mad at the same time, although they were all together for this. She started coughing on the dude, tried taking his phone away, even yanked off his mask. Like, this is scumbag move shit right there. And also, the way they talk in general, it's like complete spoiled brats. Like, they think they're like the center of the earth. Like, I don't know how to ex explain it in depth, but just by looking at them and hearing them, they were not raised right. Every person that was spoiled to death as a kid, and when they get older, they usually act like absolute snobs, and they always think for themselves. They look at other people as objects. Take a video of this video here. Actually, no, I'm not gonna show the video because, in a way, it's a salt. You know how YouTube is, and I'm not a, I'm not a corporate industry, so I'm just a creator. You know how YouTube treats their creators, but a different video on that. But anyway, the video starts off with um this girl coughing on the guy, the Uber driver. Like, look at his face. Even without looking at the mask, you, you could tell like. What the fuck did I just get myself into? If you're an Uber driver, you never know what's coming through that door. Kind of like if you're in Chicago taking the subway, the blue line or the red line. You never know what's going through that door from cart to cart. The next, this bitch takes his phone. After she takes it, she just throws it across the car. What a freaking scumbag. And right after that, she just yanks off his mask. You could see that. The, 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 the disappointment on his face, for real. What even gets me more is that the black girl says, um, and then I got Corona too. That's like adding fuel on the sun. Right there. Boom. Everything explodes. If you want to see the full video, I'll put it in the link in the description. Sometime after the incident, she then goes on Instagram Live and then starts making a rant video about the Uber driver. Says that she's going to sue Uber for what happened that day. My boyfriend taught me. He taught me don't let nobody play with you. Smack the fuck out them. That's what I was taught. I guess she had a falling out with her parents, if anything, because she'd be acting like her boyfriend raised her. Like, either your boyfriend was giving you the wrong advice, like perhaps he's a bad boyfriend, or you took it completely the wrong way. Now that I think about it, both are probably the Earth's skin cancer. But either way, with that logic, the Uber driver could have just hit you back too. Like, that is so stupid. Like, you were the one playing with him. So if y'all boyfriends... Told y'all to let this Uber, let y'all get out the car and get robbed or whatever the fuck would have happened. Now that's on y'all. Yes, same thing if your parents kick you out of their house because you did something bad to them. Or they simply want you to live on your own and you wind up on the street shot. It's on them, right? You caused this for a reason. You could have followed the guidelines of wearing a mask. But either way, like I said, she took it the wrong way. If that is true but either way the driver had a right to kick those three out because they were just being legit hyenas <laughs> what the hell no and he lucky as hell i ain't have nothing on me on mamas because if he would have played with me bruh it would have been a whole different story everybody i know 75 percent of people i know would have smacked the shit out of him or done some crazy ass off the wall shit if she had anything else like a knife or anything else she would have served the longer sentence for sure. Like, yeah, it, you're right. It would turn out different. For example, longer days in prison. And you're talking about 75% of people that you knew would have done the same thing, huh? That's like, that literally shows the toxicity of the people surrounding you. Like, if all those same people would do the exact same thing. Like, bro, they say this is a small world, right? Well, I just lost faith in humanity. After all, you know what I said in the beginning of the video. All I did was smack, take his mask off and cough a little bit. But I ain't even have corona, so at the end of the day... Okay, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that was disrespectful as fuck. I'm dead-ass wrong for that, but 
it could have been avoided. All you did was grab his phone and cough on the guy, huh? Well, sometimes one thing can cause a major chain of events, like showing the world how big of a scumbag you are. Oh, yeah. Free number nine. He didn't do nothing, even though he killed a livery driver. She says that she doesn't even have corona, but hey, you never even know. You, you might have caught corona five minutes before your Uber ride. That's, that's just how dangerous the big C is, after all. Then again, that's how basically any illness works. Either way, like, you don't do that. It's like an air version of pun punching someone. The only way one can airbend, perhaps, but it's still fucked up. Even if it ain't legal, well, it should be because it's like contaminating someone else's food. Only difference is that you're contaminating cancer to someone else, and cancer ain't even contagious. And yes, it could have been avoided by not provoking the driver like that in the first place. Here goes another view of the video, their angle, at least. And on, on their Instagram page, I can't believe there's actually some people, actually, I wouldn't say some people, there's actually one person that's still supporting her. What a fucking simp. To be fair, though, that's probably it. Her boyfriend or something, brother, sister, I don't know how they do it in other places, but yeah. They pretty much don't. It's basically for the most part for most normal people that it's common sense to wear a mask now these days. Especially it appeared on the news that there's a mask mandate. I'm pretty sure on the Uber app it tells you to, you have to wear a mask that's but that's a freaking policy right there. I'm not gonna show the rest of the video that's on her Instagram. You can find it everywhere else online really. But what makes no sense is that they waited in the guy's Uber for the other Uber and the guy told him to get out of the car but they decided to stay in the car anyway like what is the point point? what are you gonna achieve just to harass the dude I mean like okay to be fair they were pretty much mad at the dude for ca canceling their Uber trip but hey that's on you 100% but at the end of the video on this girl's Instagram what this guy does at the end is like completely surprising like he deserves an award watch this we're not getting out and I'm gonna live the freeway bro you're going by what? Yeah, you going Bruh, oh my god. Respect to this man completely. These people don't even belong on the streets. They don't even belong the streets in the hood. They belong in the next level. The freeway. The freeway. The countryside. The rednecks. The goat fuckers. The sister fuckers. Oh my god. God, the Uber driver's right about one thing. He says that you're going viral. The black girl says, no, you're going viral. Well, that makes no- The people that causes the scene the most tend to go viral. That's how the internet just works. That's how the media works in general. So the reason why that black girl is on the front cover of this Yahoo news page, even though she's not really involved in anything, is because she had a arrest warrant in Las Vegas, but it still has nothing to do with the article, really. Like, in my mind, that's just giving African Americans a bad name when they're not even directly the star of the video, at least. However, good news, at least according to Yahoo, again, um, the real star of the video turned herself in. So, hey, I think she kind of learned her lesson with a lot of regret. I guess that although you always got to be the best version of yourself at all times, it's always better to find out how big of a piece of shit you are now than later or never, in worst case scenario. But here are my final thoughts on this video. I think the meat is taking this anti-Asian hate thing in this video too far because in this video it involves like two black girls, technically two Asians because one is Persian and one is from Nepal. According to the when the guy got interview, he had a Nepal flag in his room. They're both technically Asian, although Asia is very diverse. But anyway, I don't see this as a race matter at all. It's just simply people being a bunch of snobby little kids towards an innocent Uber driver simply trying to make money. And it's just disgusting. If anything, they're sparking hate towards Asians even more because the more people hear about it, you know, in short, monkey see, monkey do. The article says allegedly they started yelling racial slurs at him. But I I didn't see any of that in the video, but either way, I don't see anything that has to do with race at all. I feel like it's just a way to get clicks and views on the news and on the internet. I guess that will wrap up today's video today, so if you want, subscribe. You can always unsubscribe later. You can press like if you like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.